You know, today in Indonesia, it has the highest population of Muslims. Tell me which army went to Indonesia to conquer them. Go on, I'm waiting. Which Muslim army went to a country called Indonesia today, which has the highest population of... Because they conquered them with their message of Islam, not the sword of Islam. So your assumption that Islam was spread by the sword is, has got no basis. No, but what I'm saying is, is that in the way Islam is spread, you, know, you just have to occupy land. You just have to occupy people and you put your rule on them. But isn't that, isn't that what England did as well? The colonialist English who went with the priests, the Christians, they went all around the world to spread Christianity by sword. I can use the same argument. And that's what they did, and they, they flew back. Before the United Nations, there was no nation states like the way we have today. So at that time, might was right. So whichever country was mighty in power, I'm they sorry, would hoist their Islam, flag and take over. Before Islam, the, 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 the Middle East was not spread by the sword. Christianity Which country? Was to spread so by the sword. what was the religion of the Middle East before Islam? You don't know nothing about history, you're just making claims. There was a lot of Christianity. In, in yeah, and how were they spreading it? Yeah, they yes, spread. the colonial... The not by the sword. Yes. Have you not heard of the Spanish Inquisition? The Crusades no, and the Spanish Inquisition of the yes. So the Christ, Crusades were Christians. The Spanish Inquisition, they were also Christians, and but they spread they, their religion by sword. Yes. No. They kill every no. every Christian in Jerusalem, right. including the Jewish, including the Muslims. They conquered Jerusalem and they massacred all the inhabitants, even the Christians, because they were not their kind of Christians. Please go and educate yourself about the history of Christianity and its atrocities through the Crusades, through the Spanish Inquisition, I, through colonialism. The Christians were being massacred in all the lands around Jerusalem and people were not allowed to go and to their place. The land of Jerusalem didn't belong to the Christians. What are you on about? It never belonged to the Christians. Are you telling me when they conquered, they all got... Ah, conquered. Christians. Did you see the key word there? Conquered. Thank you. So she's telling me they conquered it. I rest my case. The lands of Jerusalem were Christians. From the Christians. From the Christians and Jews. So you really think that Christians did not kill the Jews when they entered Jerusalem? No, I'm not denying it. Thank you. You're basically telling me the same thing. I'm sorry. In early Christianity, if you read, if you read the Acts and how Christianity spread, it did not spread in Jerusalem by the sword. No, no, it was the Romans. The Romans were the ones ruling. Okay, so they persecuted the Christians. I agree about that. What I'm saying is that after when the Christians actually got the power, yes, they started persecuting the minorities in their own countries. Yes, so the Christians who did not agree with Catholicism, they would massacre them. So you heard about Servetus, yes, who was a Unitarian Christian, who was burned on the stake. And there were many other Christians who were burned on the stake because they did not agree with the Catholics, with the Catholics. You know this place, this place is the same. They used to burn here, the, uh, the Catholics, the Protestants used to burn them. Still the Christianity. Was, and Muhammad was saying, people have to come and pray in the lines. And if they don't pray in the lines, they will be burnt. No, no, the Muslims don't burn anyone. Don't lie, please. It is in the no. hadith. Which hadith? Go on, bring the hadith. Look bring the hadith, go on. Don't, don't bring up then if you don't know the topic. No, the hadith look is saying, bro. Look at that. The, thing, the thing is, there were many Christians and Jews who became Muslims the by their own choice. Yes, Salman al Farsi was a Christian. He became a Muslim. Abdullah bin Salam was a Jew. He was actually one of the rabbis of the Jews. He became a Muslim by his own choice. A Muslim? They are not allowed to read Bible. That is a no. lot of nonsense. This should be Bible if you, openly. If you go to Dubai, they have churches, they have temples, they have even... Don't lie! In Dubai, what? Not Muslims cannot get Bible just like that. No. They cannot read for themselves. Why do they have churches there then? Because there are Christians who live there. And they are why why are there no mosques in the Vatican? <laughs> why should that be? <laughs> Did you see the double standard? First she says you're not allowed to give Qurans. When we ask her, why don't you have mosque in the Vatican in a Christian country? She goes, why should we? I'm giving the same answer. Why should we then? They can all line up and destroy. They can all line up and line and stop. Look at the anger in their face. Look at the anger. That's a prejudice. 
and the and the atrocities that they have committed that's coming to light. When Jesus comes in his second coming, when Jesus comes in the second coming, he's going to line up everyone and massacre everyone who doesn't accept him as a warrior king. Who does? Jesus. No, I don't believe that. Why don't you read the Bible? In the book of in the Gospel of Luke, when Jesus says that bring in front of me those who don't want, who don't believe me and kill them. No, no, no. It's so true. Why were they getting crucified? She hasn't read the Bible, that's why. Thank mm -hmm. you.